I have covered a lot of messed up stories in my short time as a content creator. This story is maybe not at the top. It's close to the top. I have covered all kinds of adult activities with kids, whether it be teachers or whoever. People doing adult activities with animals, which is also pretty messed up. I told my wife about this story, and uh, I was like, you know, this might be the most messed up one I ever did. And then she was like, actually, the story where the woman put her baby in the oven because she thought it was a playpen, and then she turned the oven on is the most messed up one you've ever done. Fair enough. Fair enough. But this is definitely near the top. So we're going to get into it right now. Do like, subscribe, share. Help me grow this channel. Definitely on Rumble. Help me grow the channel on Rumble. Um, my, my time on YouTube may not be... Uh, long for this world. Anyway, so horror in the Mediterranean. I, I can't. I can't believe this is a story. Horror in the Mediterranean, as an Iraqi girl, a young girl who hasn't done anything to anybody, sixteen years old, is choked to death while being. Rapes, I, I, I don't know the, the, the proper way to dance around that word to make the YouTube algorithm happy. That's why this channel will never be monetized again. You can't cover real, serious news and be monetized. That's why YouTube is not the future. Rumble is the future. But that aside, 16-year-old girl is being choked to death while being raped like this the story just it gets worse in front of her mother on a sinking ship on a sinking boat by a man who had just seen his wife and his daughter drown because a sinking boat in a disaster that saw dozens of people killed this is why I was telling my wife, like, this has to be the worst one. And then she was like, no, nah, that baby didn't do anything and it got cooked. At some point, that baby was perfectly cooked. I'm like, okay, that's pretty messed up. This story is just unbelievable. Like, in some ways, yes. We, surely, if you have some kind of heart, you should... Um, Feel the plight of these people trying to illegally break into countries. It is harrowing. It is dangerous. There's risks and children are dying and awful things are happening. We should want to help them not have to go through that harrowingness. I mean, on the other side of that coin, don't do illegal immigration, I guess. Don't, don't do it and you won't have this problem. If this Iraqi girl was just at home or any other country, this wouldn't have been a problem. A teenage girl was raped and choked to death by an Iraqi migrant as the boat they were on sank in the Mediterranean. Horrified witnesses have claimed with the attacker surviving the shipwreck that saw dozens killed off the coast of Italy. Survivors claimed the man carried out the unspeakable attack after seeing his wife and daughter drown, Italian media reports. Venting, venting his frustration on the helpless 16-year-old girl. Now, I love my wife and my children dearly. There's nothing more in this world or nothing else I love in this world more than them, including myself. I cannot fathom seeing something happen to them and then go, ah, I'm so mad. Ah, I have all this anger and frustration at the tragedy I just witnessed. What am I going to do with this erection? What? What? It's like, ah, I'm just so mad. 
the love of my life and my child has perished in this terrible accident. I don't know why I wasn't in the water saving them, doing something. But I guess that's in the past now. I'm angry with his erection. What am I going to do to it? I don't know. I better bury it in that child. And then while I'm doing that, I better snuff their life out as well. It, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, then again, I've never been in that situation, but I could probably guess that's not, not a, a course of action that I would take. And I was thinking about this story this morning about all of the rape and the murder that's happening in Canada, in America. I mean, it's definitely highlighted in America. The young girl in Texas, the young girl in, in uh, New York City, in that park, tied with shoelaces at Machete Point. There was just uh, another 15-year-old girl in Albany. I mean, it's, they're, they're con constantly happening. Lake and Riley, she was going to get raped for sure. She fought back, got her face smashed in with a rock. And it makes you think about like all of this stuff and, and um, how all of these, these individuals are, are coming into the country and what that means for the future. And then for some reason, the story of the scorpion and the frog entered my mind. Now, most people know about the scorpion and the frog. I mean, I think the story also is the scorpion and the fox. Either way, it's the same story. If you don't know the story, well, I'll, I'll share it with you. If you do know the story, just let me tell the people that don't know. It's, um, it's an old story. And it's essentially, there is a river. And at the bank of the river, there's a scorpion. And he's like, oh, shit, I need to get across this river. I can't swim. I will go in and I will die. What am I? What am I going to do? Along comes a frog. Just hop, 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 hop. And he's about to swim across the river. The scorpion's like, whoa, hey, yo. Do you think I can maybe get on your back and then you can carry me across? Because I, I would really appreciate that. I got to get across. And the frog was like, are, are you nuts? I'm not, I'm not carrying you across. The scorpion's like, what? Why? That's ridiculous. What are you racist or something? The frog's like, no, I'm I'm not racist. But you're gonna stab me in the back. You're gonna sting me. You're a scorpion. The scorpion was like, whoa, listen. I'm not gonna sting you while you're swimming, because then I would die too. I can't swim. That is why I'm asking for your help. The frog thought about it, and the frog was like, you know, that, that, that's actually a good point, I guess. The frog's like, okay, hop on. So the scorpion just he gets on his back. Frog is swimming along. He's like, yeah, this is all right. And all of a sudden, a searing, paralyzing pain in the back of the, in, in the frog's back. And he's like, oh, shit, you've stung me. Why did you do that? Now we're both going to die. I can't save you let alone myself what the heck are you doing and the scorpion was like shoot i don't know it's it's in my nature that's what i was thinking about this, the, this morning as as I, I, I was going through the news and i see this and the 15 year old girl in albany the the 12 year old girl in texas the girl in new york city lake and riley and the dozens and dozens and dozens of other girls you know, Donald Trump was like, you know, they're not sending their best. The left was like, that's racist. What do you mean they're not sending their best? They're not sending rapists. Actually, turns out, you know, they're sending their rapists. So it's in the nature. They're getting back to the, the frog and the scorpion. This guy witnesses the death of his wife and the death of his child. They drown. He doesn't seem to save them. I mean, let's be honest. If my wife and my children were drowning, I would drown too trying to save them. I wouldn't come back up until I had them. I, that's just me, I guess. I don't know. But in a, in a time of, of, you know, great sadness, the guy turns and decides, I'm going to rape and murder. 
it's it's in the nature. The immigration has to stop. It, it has to stop because these 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 individuals. We're not going to rehabilitate that out of them. There is no jail time. There is no like home ec class or whatever they can take. There's you're not going to get that out of them. That's like at, t- telling that scorpion not to sting. It's in their nature. They're always going to do it forever. So he was venting his fury. Venting his fury on a helpless six-year-old girl. It doesn't matter that the boat he's on is sinking. The teenager was raped and suffocated in front of her distraught mother by the 27-year-old man as the sailboat sank. News agency AGI reports citing a police investigation. The man has since been arrested on suspicion, I guess technically innocent until proven guilty, but everyone saw it, um, of, of murdering the girl. So he's been arrested for murdering the girl, who was also of Iraqi origin and had been making the journey to Europe with her mother. She survived the disaster and reported her daughter's killing to police. Only 12 people were rescued from the ship, which officials believe had uh, about 70 people on it. It's a lot of death and destruction. And while that's all happening around him, he's like, where do I put this erection? It's the weirdest thing. It doesn't make sense to me. So of the, se- of the 70 people, more than two dozen children. One of the survivors later died and more than half of the bodies have been recovered. So. According to this map, the migrant vessel carrying around 70 people originated in Turkey. And it was just off the coast of Italy, just off the toe of the boot. In a statement, the officers confirmed the sailing boat was adrift off the coast of Italy. When the man vented his aggression. What a, this, this language. Oh, he vented. Is that what we call it? Sometimes I vent my frustration on my wife, but that's a snarky comment. Maybe I'm a little sassy pants. I don't choke her and force myself upon her. I mean, that's, ah, ah, you know, that, that's not venting. The man vented his aggression on a 16-year-old Iraqi girl, the daughter of another survivor, leading to her death by suffocation. A police spokesperson did not immediately confirm the details of the attack. Those who made it out with their lives described their perilous journey, telling charity workers that they were traveling without life jackets and that some boats did not stop to help them. Probably because they're the kind of people to vent frustration by murder and rape. Like, what a way to vent frustration. I mean, when my kids are frustrated, I tell them to go like this. I'm frustrated. Yeah, it's a big emotion. It's a complex emotion. It's not quite like anger. And it's not quite sadness. It's, It's a mixture of emotions. It's a complicated one. But my young autistic sons, they've figured out frustration. Why can't a 27-year-old Iraqi man figure out that rape and murder is not the way that we deal with frustration? Yeah, no wonder the boats didn't stop. They're, they, they looked at that and they're like, it's not my dog. It's not my monkeys, not my circus or whatever that expression is. And it's a perilous journey. Stop making that, that journey. Stop making it. The survivors were brought to the port of Rochelle after the ordeal, which took place uh, overnight between the 16th and 17th of June. Female survivor later died. Another 35 bodies were subsequently recovered from the water in the search efforts, but local authorities um, are they saying the, the, the official death toll is 36, including 15 kids. The, the survivor accused of murder and rape, has been detained in prison in Quintanzaro, the capital of the Calabria region, police said. 
Meanwhile, security forces in Iraq's Kurdistan on Tuesday announced the arrest of four suspected human traffickers over the shipwreck, according to non-governmental organizations, um, NGOs. The accounts from victims' families, the sailing boat was carrying mostly Kurdish migrants from Iraq and Iran, along with Afghan families. Thousands of migrants depart from Libya and Tunisia by boat towards Europe, with Italy often the first landing point. Many migrants from African nations embark on the trips from uh, ports in Libya, where human traffickers have capitalized on the country's instability. Those from the Middle East often attempt to make the shorter but no less perilous journey west across the Mediterranean from Turkey, having arrived there from Iraq, Iran, Syria, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. You know, all the best places in the world. You know what happens when you import the third world? You become it. Iraqi girl, 16 years old, is choked to death while being raped in front of her mother on a sinking boat by a man who had just seen his wife and his daughter drown in a disaster that saw dozens, including children, die. Wow. That is, uh, that's wild and awful. And I, I, oh, my wife and my and my daughter have just died. I've lost, I've lost the the light of my life. But what am I gonna do with this erection? Like that's messed up. I'll I'll never understand it. I'll never get it. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I love you all so very much. Please do um, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't. Definitely on Rumble and uh, on X. If I mean. <laughs> While you're throwing out the, you know, the follows, you may as well do X as well. The old Twitter. Um, yeah. Anyways, thanks, guys. That's it for this one. I'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.